Welcome back, Wolfpack. Roll us to the first Fan Fridays of the year. I mean, it's also crazy that's the first day of 2016 as well. So let's get some fun out of this battle. Um, anything's possible. So looks like the opponent might be going for the infamous beat up strategy that you know Whimsicott into Terrakion. A lot of craziness right there. But it's going to be going up against the Gudra Gorgeist. Haven't seen Gorgeist or Gudra in a while, and these are some terrific Pokemon. So I can't wait to see how they play well together. Gorgeist Frisk, Akaberry, and a Focus Sash. Just kind of showing the strategy a bit right there. Oh no, Whimsicott's going to beat up the Trachyon and give its stats on that Justified. Who would have known? So, this is how it works. Yeah, Justified hits four times, and then it's going to gain attack. And it does take a bit of time, so I'm going to have to draw out this commentary while we wait for the last hit and attack boost. There we go. Not very effective, Trachyon takes like no damage, it's going to be super speedy as well. Go for that rock slide, and that is going to be a critical hit on the Gudra, knocking it out. I'm pretty confident it could have survived, and Gorgeist flinches. Oh, that is devastating right there. So that's the power of RNG, and it looks like Whimsicott's going to go for that beat up, just, you know, top off the Terrakion's damage. I don't, ever, I don't think I've ever seen a double, like two turns of beat up back to back work like that before, but there it is. So, gaining attack, gonna hit damage, attack can't go up anymore, but wow, a crit and a flinch. That's, that's like legendary right there. That's what you think, that's when you think someone's making stuff up. So that is going to take down the Gorgeist, but Aromatisse will survive. And I mean, that's cool, I guess. So it is a Citrus Berry, the Perfume Tank. Well, actually, we gotta think about it from this, uh, oh my goodness, it flinches as well. Oh, this is a, uh, this is what happens when the, we get on the bad side of RNG. So Blastoise is going to Mega, and I mean that's just super unfortunate right there. But we sh we see that there's a plus six on that Terrakion, and was and we had the Aromatisse survive. So really tanky right there. Oh my goodness, we might have a chance. So for some reason, Whimsicott keeps beating up. Oh, uh, that's a thing. Just maybe in case there was some status lowering. I don't know what's going on right there. But, or maybe he was just trying to BM disrespect. Blastoise got that fake out, and it looks like we got a trick room for ourselves, which could be pretty serious, because I'm feeling that Blastoise wants to go for that water spout, which will do a ton of damage to the Terrakion. Oh wow, Romatisse always also has the rain dance! I love it. This is actually pretty awesome, because I've been talking about, like, if you get trick room and rain dance, or uh, some kind of trick room status setter, or rain weather set, it can happen. And the Water Spout does a significant amount of damage to the um, Whimsicott, but the Aroma Veil does prevent the Encore. And that's the thing about when you run the beat up Whimsicott, you start to run out of damage options because you're playing as a full support, so it doesn't have anything to deal with the Blastoise, and that is going to be a two shot on the Whimsicott, and of course a one hit KO onto the Terrakion. Oh my goodness, that that fake out is so, is, is pretty much bringing back the clutch right now, that's amazing. And it does show the power. You get the Trick Room up, and then you get Blastoise using Water Spout, and it's going to be a ridiculous amount of damage, but it will be the Mega Heracross. So we have to see how this ends up playing out. Like, what the Aromatisse can do to help. Is it Helping Hand? Like, yeah, I'm pretty sure it gets that. So you're Helping Hand under the rain, and then you just absolutely destroy everything. So Protect's going to fail right there on the Aromatisse, and the Water Spout will be enough to one-shot the Togekiss, and almost have enough on the Heracross. Oh yeah, I'm definitely, oh wow, the Bullet Seed though, is never mind, not going to threaten Blastoise enough. Mega Blastoise, very tanky Pokemon. I think the opponent would have to like get two crits in a row for it to finish off the Blastoise. Oh, okay, that's a bit of damage right there, and it looks like Blastoise will survive it. Okay, maybe it didn't need two crits in a row. That was some weird damage, like, numbers then, because it took three to get to half, then two to almost knock it out. But, there it is, there's the Heal Pulse. So you set up the rain, you set up the trick room. It's actually pretty simple when when you do it like this. Normally, if you're going for two levels of setup, it seems like it's too complicated or it takes a lot to make sure it goes right. But this isn't too bad. So we're going to see the bullet seed right there. Going to get protected. Romatisse does reset that trick room just to make sure everything is okay. And that will be a victory right there. Even though it should like there was so much hacks keeping it down, but we gotta, we gotta give it. Aromatis survived the plus six times four on that attack from the uh, Terrakion. So that was still pretty crazy back then. And it all shows. So 
With Aromatius, you get the Trick Room for pretty much free. That you can't taunt it because of that Aroma Veil. There's a lot of really easy setup that it can go for. And then it's going to be the slowest Pokemon field, so it gets Trick Room, Blastoise, any kind of Pokemon like that is going to be the second slowest. So your Water Spout is just going to be able to one-shot quite a few Pokemon. Like Whimsicott would have gotten one shot. Uh, we saw the Togekiss get one shot. There was a there was a lot of damage coming out right there, so that was pretty awesome. And you know what? We got another battle with this crazy strategy. So let's see what happens if Gudra and the Gore guys can get going as well. I mean, get a pumpkin going on right now. I love to see the pumpkin play. I like I just like pumpkins in general. So I see many levels of Trick Room right here. Gore guys definitely a Trick Room Pokemon. Gudra, it, it's actually pretty nice. It's going to be just a very tanky Pokemon. I want to see if it's just there for the damage, for the coverage, or what, and how Gorgas wants to play along with this as well. But we are going to see the Mega Manetric from the opponent. That could be an overheat, that could be a flamethrower, that could just be straight up damage, and we're going to see where it ends up going. So Manetric's Intimidate, probably not going to bother the Gudra. Uh, Gorgas is more of a physical attacker if it's going for that. And we will see the flamethrower right there from the Gore guys, but very tanky Pokemon will survive that. Er, it will use the Super Fang. So the opponent is going to use his turn to get two Pokemon down to about half, and Gudra is going to set up the Rain Dance. And does that mean Gore guys is going to set up the Trick Room? Oh, that would be crazy right there. So we have one Pokemon. Wow, so that means this entire team lives or dies by that Blastoise. So you know what? That's pretty fair. Like Trick Room Blastoise, we see that there's super amounts of damage out of that water spout and you can't really stop it if you don't know what to expect so we have these two pokemon setting up and then we have aromatis being the one-man army that can be like the instant comeback this is insane amounts of dedication and we can see that it works out really well that even if one of even if two pokemon get shut down you can just rely on the aromatis and it's a great combo for the comeback and i'd imagine if the opponent is already weakened then it even gets worse from there so it's going to follow me. Oh, the follow me. That's going to be pretty bad on that Phantom Force. But we know the Manetric, he can't really go for that Flamethrower anymore because the rain is going to dampen that. And the Muddy Water is going to be some decent damage out of the Gudra. But it will be a hidden power on Sigore Guys. Less damage, super effective still. Hidden power ice right there. And that means Gorgias is going to survive. And we get to see another turn of fun. Phantom Force, very powerful move also. Excellent in that Trick Room because Gorgeist, ooh, it also has will -O -Wisp. Wow, what an excellent utility Pokemon as well. Because uh, Phantom Force, it removes Protect. So if you feel a Pokemon's going to go for Protect, you can pretty much guarantee they're not going to be able to Protect that turn unless they're a normal type. But other than that, then you can just Focus Fire them down and get the Knockout when they think they're safe. That's going to be the will -O -Wisp on the Manetric. Everything's looking pretty solid right there. So damage getting split across, and yeah, Furt's gonna follow me. That could be like Will-O-Wisp or something. We're gonna see Gudra. Muddy Water hits both opponents, and Gorgeist has the Trick or Treat. <laughs> well, you can do that as well. You can Trick or Treat a normal type Pokemon, then hit it for a super effective Phantom Force, just in case the Muddy Water will be enough to finish off the Manetric, and we get a crit onto the Furt to finish it off as well. And that means, are we just going to see these two these two guys sweep it right here? Maybe. Uh, Gorgeist is a bit weakened right now, but Gudra's still looking pretty healthy. Got that leftover seal. Hey, also it works out really well in the rain because of its ability. It does have the rain veil thing. I just absolutely forgot it on the spot. But it makes it to where you can't get status in rain, and that's pretty nice for that Pokemon right there. Looks like we're going to see... Oh, unfortunately, the rain has ended, so the Sleep Powder will land right there. Gudra will be asleep, and the Hyper Voice will be a ridiculous amount of damage. Gudra does not survive it. See, this is the thing about Aurorus. Very frail, very high risk, but at the same time, it has that Refrigerate Hyper Voice for super ridiculous damage, and Gudra is a special defense tank, and it took a substantial hit right there. But now it's time for Blastoise and Aromatisse. Ooh. Here's where the opponent might not understand what's going on right there. So Blastoise. Blastoise Knight's going to be in play. Uh, probably just going to Mega into the Protect. Let T set up the Trick Room and have it work out from there. Also, oh yeah, the Fake Out. Right. So you don't even need to set up the Trick Room. And worst case scenario, if Hyper Voice does a lot of damage or if the opponent does a lot of damage, you Heal Pulse the Blastoise, then it's going to be back up to full health before it Water Spouts. So that's completely an option. Aromatisse and Blastoise is an amazing combo. Um, did I mention that sometime before? I, I feel like, I, I know I've put a lot of faith in Aromatisse as an amazing Pokemon. It lets you do whatever setup you want, because I have Aroma Veil. And then, now we see the Rain Dance, and now we're just going to see absolute damage. How much are we going to see from this Water Spout? Aurora is protecting itself, 
but that is going to be enough to knock out the Vivion, and safe to say the crit didn't matter. Stab, rain boosted, full damage right there, and Aerobatis with the heal pulse, you know, just to make sure we top off the damage right there, and Aurorus has nowhere to hide. What an amazing strategy. This, this is what I mean, like, the opponent's already weakened, you just go into the Aerobatis and shut it down even more. Uh, it really has a lot of come from behind potential, like, it seems the follow-up after Gudra, after Gorgas goes down, that's when the team is ready to go 4-0, so the first two Pokemon, interestingly enough, aren't the strongest. Normally in doubles you see a stronger lead, but this is just a different kind of team, and it's amazing, well done, I love everything about this, so if you guys enjoyed the first video of 2016, unfortunately it's gonna be hard to follow that one up, so we'll see where the rest of Fan Fridays goes, hope you guys enjoy it, and I'll see you guys in the next Fan Fridays.